trans man comes out and says he has a disorder and maybe just maybe you either learn to accept that because a lot of people who don't have the trans disease may actually just need to go to therapy let's get right into it so we got a video uh post right here from buck angel as y'all know buck angel is a he puts transsexual so that's what i'll say transsexual so this was a woman who went from a woman to being a man and i believe this happened in their late 30s or 40s so let's get right into it i heard you get kicked off of social media platforms if you affirm that transsexualism is a mental disorder i am a transsexual and have a diagnosis of gender dysphoria so if you do not have a diagnosis you are not a transsexual you are something else maybe go to a therapist and figure out what the f is wrong with you but stop telling people i do not have a mental disorder when i have accepted it and moved on i love this part here where it says maybe go to a therapist and figure out what's wrong with you <laughs> well either way you got to go to a the therapist uh, there buck um but nonetheless You know, when I sit here and actually read this one sentence, let me, I'm kind of going over it again and again in my head. So if you do not have a diagnosis, you are not transsexual. You are something else. This is like saying nobody has COVID unless they're diagnosed by a doctor, not a logically sound argument. How is COVID the same as a mental disorder to you? And we'll come back to me. Cameraman, please. Thank you. Um, man, <laughs> if you are not diagnosed, then you have something else. You know what I'm thinking I'm afraid of? I'm not afraid of. What I think people are afraid of is going to a therapist and trying to get self-diagnosed because I think most people would realize that they're not trans from the definition of what it originally used to be. It used to be being diagnosed with gender dysphoria, having an issue, a problem. Something that's really mentally going on with you. You feel like you can't go on. Even then, even then, you know, I still wouldn't be for it. But nonetheless, I understand. There's something I've never dealt with. Something I, I, I can never understand. Wanting to have a body part of me taken off. And if I feel like if I don't have that taken off, I feel like I'm going to go crazy. But I also understand what it feels like to not to accept your body. Don't understand what it feels like to take off a body part. But I can understand not accepting your body. I've been through that. I'm a short man. I'm a fat guy. Some things I don't like about myself. Even, even when I wasn't fat, guys. And that's, it's been a long time. But even when I wasn't fat, I still didn't like myself. So it's not like... It's not like... I think most people don't really deal... I don't think most people look at themselves and are completely okay with them. But hold on. Let me get a drink of water. What I do want to say is this, look, if you are struggling with these kind of things and you truly uh, are not diagnosed, I think if people go there, they're going to feel like they're not going to get diagnosed. They're just going to realize that maybe sometimes that they're they have a fetish for this stuff. They actually want to be a woman. Maybe they just want to be different. They want to just fit in. Maybe they actually um, don't want these things. It may just be um, coming from porn addiction, maybe coming from a sex addiction. It may be coming from just wanting to be different. Um or maybe something is mentally wrong with you. But I think when most people walk in there, they realize that there's nothing wrong with them. And maybe they have just either gotten dragged in by social media or this may have become a fetish for them. I used to not say that too often that this stuff might be a fetish to them. But the more I think about it, I got to say, there's a good possibility now that some of these guys and some of these gals may be having a fetish for this kind of stuff. Maybe more men than women, in my opinion. But men who are going to be women or trying to be a oh, woman, you will never be a woman. Sorry, that's life. But you go into this and it may be a fetish. It may be an actual turn on to you. And the reason, you know, the stuff used to get snuffed out is because we used to call this kind of stuff out. We used to be like, I don't know, I find that kind of strange. Maybe we could. But now I, I keep saying it and I don't care. When we heard that whole love is love, then that screwed things up. Man, did that screw things up. Because it took something that was, okay, I understand that. I get what you're saying. It, they took that. 
And even the LGB, now they're just calling themselves the LGB, the LGB was doing something okay, I guess. But what ended up happening is it got taken and it got manipulated and it got twisted into this unnatural thing, which is what was said was going to happen because it is unnatural. I don't care how you slice that cake. At the end of the day, to say it's natural, it's never going to be true. Being gay, being lesbian, being bisexual. Those relationships that you have in those are not natural. Man and woman's natural. Natural things happen. The other ones aren't natural. I'm sorry if that hurts your feelings. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just saying what it is. But when we started taking something that wasn't too natural... That what do you think is going to happen? People are going to take every little thing that's unnatural and try to make it natural and normalize it. You got men breastfeeding children and they say that's normal. They're calling women birthing mothers. They're calling women. Uh, they're, they're calling women chest feeders. What? I never thought I'd see the day that what women fought so hard for would end up getting them erased completely. <laughs> now, now, obviously, they're not getting erased, right? But at the same time, it just feels like that's what could possibly happen. So I truly believe if you're not diagnosed with a gender dysphoria, there's something else going on. Maybe you believe too much in this. I just want to be different. I just want to uh, do this with this individual. I just want to do all these things to be uh, a nuance. We saw a guy the other day I made a video about who was one day completely trans and then a few months later, completely normal guy. We just please, please start having conversations about being trans. It doesn't mean you got gender dysphoria. Everybody wants to have a dang mental illness. Everybody. You got people who want to be, you want people who want to have multiple dis, uh, personality disorders. You want people who want to have uh, did. Is that what it's called? You want people who want to have anxiety. You want people who want to be depressed. They really want this because people are so bored. They want to fit in anywhere they can. They feel so detached from society. They want to be a part of anything. And I'm sorry, but we've got to start talking to these people for real. Let's start showing them positive stuff. Get on the internet and not talk about being depressed 24-7. Let's talk about the good stuff in life. Let's talk about being not necessarily happy, but being content, being joyful in the situations, having peace. Not talking about how you want to be different. Even, and I'm going to shut up after this, but even when we, and this is a little bit of a tangent, but even when people talk about, oh, you know what? I don't want to be, I don't want to make enough money to provide my family. I got to be rich. I don't want to work for a company. I got to be an entrepreneur. I don't want to do this. I want to make money in the most unconventional way possible. I want to make millions of dollars basket weaving. It's just like everybody wants to be different so bad because everybody gets told that if you're average, you're a loser, you're a geek, you're, you're, you're a terrible person. If you make average money, if you go to your average job, if you look average, you're a boring loser who needs to get off your... Y'all ain't hearing me. Guys, it's okay to be average. It's okay to be a person who struggles. But it doesn't mean you have to go label yourself. It doesn't mean you have to change who you are. You don't have to do any of those things. You can be you and be okay with that. Stop looking at other people or stop trying to be something you're not. You don't need to be a millionaire. You don't need to be an entrepreneur. You don't need to be trans. You don't need to be any of this stuff. I know I'm trying to give you guys other analogies, but I just hate always having to go to the trans. I like to try to give analogy to people who aren't dealing with being trans, but they are dealing with this in other ways. I try to make it all connect. You're okay as the way you are. Learn to look yourself in the mirror. Look yourself in the eye. And that's one of the hardest things to do. Look in the mirror, look in, look in your own eyes and be like, I'm okay with myself. I'm not telling you to say you're beautiful. I'm not saying you to say all this extra stuff. It doesn't matter because being beautiful is subjective. You can just look yourself in the mirror and be like, I'm okay with being me today. Think about that stuff. Not always about having a mental illness or trying to force yourself to have it. <sighs> Love you guys. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Peace.